Andrea, what will Nestle's position be? Presumably, we'll, we'll, we'll hear something about, you know, Loeb wanting them to break off the L'Oreal part of the company? That's right. I think it's quite unlikely they will do that. Um, the new CEO, of Mark Schneider, has already described that as a strategic asset. He said it's got any actions got to be thought about very carefully. It doesn't sound like he's about to divest that. And anyway, what would he do with the money? Yeah, good <laughs> question. I mean, and, and, and if they did divest that asset, it leads to another question. The Sanofi and L'Oreal Exactly. That's assuming that interlinkage. Exactly. That's assuming that L'Oreal would want to buy it, and if yes. they did, would they have to get rid of that Sanofi stake to to fund it? There's been huge pressure, hasn't there? Yeah. Ed, I mean, there's a whole host of uh, sort of to-do list here. You know, th th there's sell its stake in L'Oreal, increase the leverage for share buybacks, adopt a formal profitability target, amongst other suggestions. I mean, what's doable? What's 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 uh, you know what's the company Nestle going to listen to when it comes to Dan Loeb's suggestions? Yeah, so th th this is right, Mark. He's he's come with a, um, a sort of menu of. of uh, request, which is pretty typical for activists these days. They tend to go in with not just one strategy, but like multiple things that a company can do. The L'Oreal stake will be interesting to see if they even have a discussion about that. It would be huge. I think it is worth something like $25 billion. Loeb's argument there is, look, if you're a shareholder in Nestle, why should you be forced to own L'Oreal? If you want to own L'Oreal, you can go and do that yourself in the public markets. You should be able to choose. Some of the other stuff he's asked for is slightly more incremental divesting of some non-core brands outside of Europe, which we're already seeing Nestle push forward a sale of the U.S. confectionery business. So it's not inconceivable they could do some of that. I think the other thing which is not in the letter but may well be a sort of later step in this is that Loeb will ask for board seats at this company. He obviously is working alongside uh, this, this guy who was formerly um, CEO of uh, Sara Lee and also has done a lot of deals in Europe. He was at DE Master Blenders, the coffee company. He's part of the SPV with Loeb, so it's possible, I think, that Loeb says, you know, we should put this guy on the board. He's a very smart guy. He will maybe help this company realize some of the ambitions that Loeb has outlined.